I, uh, I started actually when I was seven years old. My first instrument was violin. Um, I started doing shows as a singer, but then I, I started studying violin, and then the second half of that year I started studying trumpet. So, uh, and then in summer school I took piano and flute. And so that was, that was my introduction to a lot of different things, and I've, all throughout my life I've played different things. Um, when I was 10 or 11 I stopped playing violin and went to the guitar. And um, I've just continually at, you know, let them grow. And it got to the point when I got to New York, uh, I was asked to sub for someone that played saxophone, guitar, keyboards, and sang in a band. So they were looking for, they were looking for all of those things. They were looking for horn solos and rhythm parts. And, um, <clears throat> and things kind of grew. And when I got the job with Pat, um, you know, my resume states that my principles are voice and trumpet, and secondary instruments are guitar and keyboards. And I also played some percussion. I was actually uh, honored to play in the Broadway play Serafina. I was the only non-South African in the band, and I played percussion and played congas. So that helped a lot with the linguistics of percussion. And uh, Pat asked me if I would be willing to play some extra percussion in the band. And I said, sure. I had no idea he had mallets in mind. So when I got to rehearsal, there was a concert marimba and some mallets and this big three-page part. And uh, so. I took some lessons with Jay Hogard on, on mallet technique and practice, and, uh, and that kind of has evolved over the years too, so now I'm playing you know, chords and stuff, and so you just, it's all a growth process.